Hey everyone, welcome again to the channel. It's Osaze, Osaze's Corner. And today I have a pretty interesting, exciting fragrance to review for you today, as it is one of, if not the best fragrance that I do not have. And I can only dream of having this one day, but you've seen the title of the video, so let's get into it. Okay, so before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know the whole routine. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions, like the, 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 the video if you do like the video, give it a thumbs up, um, you know, subscribe to the channel, help the channel grow, and thank you as you do that. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I wanted to do a full review of this line from Roja. As you know, by the title, we're talking about Roja Parfum de la Nuit 3, which has three fragrances. Very, very expensive line. If you've seen, if you know the fragrance line, then you know how expensive and pricey these fragrances are. 100 ml um, goes for a, what, 1500 US dollars or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I have two discovery atomizers of Parfum de la Nuit 2 and 3. And I've had this for at least over a year now. And honestly, I am micing them and using them very sparingly as they, as I don't have access to a full bottle. So let's talk about Parfum de la Nuit 3. So when we talk about Parfum de la Nuit 3, it's, it's sort of hard for me to give you a description of how this fragrance smells. Because honestly, this fragrance smells like nothing else I have come across. I don't have much reference points for this fragrance. All I can really talk about and why I really love this fragrance is because of how it makes me feel. This fragrance feels, makes me feel confident. It makes me feel sexy. It makes me feel like anybody that I walk past turns their head, even though that's not true, I mean, I don't know, but that's just how it makes me feel. It makes you feel how you want a fragrance to make you feel. And personally, not many fragrances give me that sort of feeling. And this does it in such a interesting way, like no a unique way, like no other fragrance. So let me give you a quick spray here. Okay. Let's go on spray, there should be enough of this. Actually, let me put this on the, on the back of my hand. Mm. Oh, geez. So this fragrance opens a bit differently on my skin versus on paper. I love it on both, to be honest. But on my skin, I don't. I get more of the base versus on paper. On the paper, when it opens up, you get you get that it's bright and fresh, but it's still dark and woody the the balancing of the fresh coolness from um i believe this amiris uh bergamot oh makes it bright uh the rose is kind of like more of a fresher you know brighter rose all those resins and woody incense and smoky balsamic notes just pop and when they contrast with the coolness from the bergamot the amiris the the rose i believe atomizia also very aromatic i think that's one reason one thing i always look for in fragrances are are they aromatic because i love aromatic fragrances i love how they sort of mingle in the air they're not damp and heavy and just form this really thick cloud around you but instead, they have this sort of, um, it's almost like a mist. You get wafts here and there, and they just sort of gently ease into your nostrils. That's how this fragrance performs, which is very traditional style in terms of French perfumery. They like to make their fragrances airy, light, but still with a present. And this is so beautiful. Like, so this fragrance is, essentially a smoky incensey uh resinous fragrance that is juxtaposed with some bright and fresh notes like again bergamot rose 
uh, Myris and Atomisia. It's more herbally. It has a tiny hint of herbalness, but I think that's what makes it very aromatic. You know, mixing that up with the other notes that are in the fragrance, it is very, very, to my nose, my mind, it makes me feel seductive. Now, I don't know how seductive you might feel if you wear this fragrance. It depends on what what part of the world you're living in, because in my experience, I've always felt like on average, not everyone, but on average, the, a woman in the in a Western society is more drawn to um, a man that smells clean and fresh, like citrus, clean woods. I feel like the pro, uh, the Parfum de la Nuit is where Roja has his best works because they combine everything that you like about Roja, but they are unique. And that is the key thing, they are unique. One of the knocks that you hear people talk about Roja is, you know, his, it's more luxurious versions of other fragrances of Guerlain's or whatever, that they smell so close to other, you know, classic fragrances. It smells like you put a bunch of spices and resins in a bowl and you heat it and you're just getting the waft and the smokes coming that's the sort of feeling but it, it it's not as like pure smoke in that sense it is counterbalanced with the rose and and the other notes that give it a little bit of freshness this fragrance is class personified maybe one day i'm just gonna make the bad horrible financial decision and just go for it because this fragrance has been on my mind i've been dreaming of owning this fragrance for the longest of times it is amazing it is beautiful in terms of performance i never like to judge fragrances on performance based off of atomizers or like a discovery atomizers or decans because i never get to spray as much as i want to in that situation but smelling this fragrance I can tell you this will be, this will last long. Now, based on how it performs and knowing Roja and stuff, I suspect that the projection will be for three, four hours, maybe five, before it starts becoming more of a plain a hide and seek in terms of projection. But I think the scent will stay on your skin for six plus hours easily, maybe eight hours. It will stay long enough for your night, evening out event and it will definitely, you know, make itself known because this fragrance, especially if you walk into, especially in the cool air, like in the warmer month, sorry, in the cooler months, it has that power to change the air around you. And that is, and that is amazing to walk into somewhere and just change the air. This is something you need to be at least accustomed to, to really appreciate and enjoy. If you've never, or you don't like incenses, you're not a fan of smoky fragrances, then this wouldn't sort of appeal to you. But overall, this is by far the best Roger fragrance. And I know I love Oligarch, which is my favorite Roger fragrance. I say it's my favorite Roger fragrance because it's the only one I'm, I'm able to afford and have. I once wrote to them on Facebook and I begged them, please do a 50 ml, at least a 50 ml. If you can get the size down to a 50 ml, it'll make it a lot easier for me to pull the trigger on, on that sort of fragrance. But I don't think we're gonna see a 50 ml or a 30 ml, a 30 ml. Okay, Roja, a 30 ml of Parfum de la Nuit 3. Thank you again for coming. If there's any other sort of things you like to see from the channel, I'm currently thinking about sort of content and stuff that I can put out. I just don't always want to calm down and review a fragrance. I'm thinking of other interesting ways to bring you guys uh, and present fragrance contents to you. I'm trying to do something different. So if anyone has sort of ideas that they would love to share, I am always, my, my DMs on my Instagram are open, the comment sections are open. I would love that sort of feedback. So thank you again for watching. I hope you have a great day and take care.